We have reported often on Canada's contribution to the fight against ISIS in Iraq that we've sent warplanes but no combat troops. Well, there's a new twist tonight. Canada does, in fact, have boots on the ground, but they are not military. They're civilians, Canadians, who, as Mike Lecouture reports, are so fired up about the horrors of what ISIS is doing, they volunteered to fight. As the Canadian forces continue to fight ISIS from the air, there are some Canadian boots on the ground. Former soldiers are volunteering their time to battle alongside Kurdish fighters in Iraq. Now, one such person, 26-year-old Corporal Dylan Hillier, an Afghanistan veteran who was discharged from the forces months ago. I definitely think that he's, he's not satisfied with the world's response. Veteran Ian Bradbury knows Hillier and says there are dozens of others considering volunteering to fight with the Peshmerga. Dylan is the son of Ontario MPP Randy Hillier. In a statement, Hillier would only say, quote, there are no words which can adequately describe how proud we are of our son Dylan. As a proud Canadian, he has always cherished and defended the freedoms we are all afforded in this great country. Now, Bradbury heads a group called the First North American Expeditionary Force, a non-profit organization providing support to anyone who feels the need to volunteer in the fight against ISIS and he helped Hillier head over to the Middle East. I have verified contacts now through Peshmerga, so I know that whoever they're in contact with is actually a legitimate person and not a nefarious character. Now Bradbury has considered joining the fight, but he isn't ready to go just yet. And we have seen radicalized Canadians take up arms and fight for ISIS. But this is out of the ordinary, and psychologists say what motivates people like Hillier is his training. I have been trained to do good for people and uh, I believe he get obsessed with this and make it his duty to fight for the oppressed. One problem though, there are factions fighting alongside the Peshmerga linked to terrorist organizations. So if Hillier or any other Canadian becomes associated with them, there's no guarantee he'll be allowed to return home. We can just make sure that our communications are clean and that whatever we've put our personnel onto is clean, that's, that's as far as that we can go. It's a risk some are seemingly willing to take in order to fight the atrocities perpetrated by ISIS. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.